Hi everybody, it's Leela from Miss Kiss Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to do a fully glittered tumbler using Mod Podge. So we are going, going to do a fully glittered tumbler uh, with the Mod Podge method. I'm gonna first go over the materials needed which are laid out in front of me. Uh, you might not be able to see everyone but I'll go over each and every one of them for you. You're going to use uh, Mod Podge. Today I'm using the orange Mod Podge, the gloss Mod Podge. I have also used the dishwasher safe that comes in the light blue bottle. You can also use that as well. Um, it does not make a difference since you are uh, going to be applying epoxy over your tumbler. You're gonna need a brush. I use a sponge brush to apply my Mod Podge or you can use a Mod Podge brush. Uh, optional Dixie cups. This is just to hold your glitter. If you do have too much glitter, you'll see that in the video. Um, you're going to need spray adhesive. In the video, I am using Scotch spray adhesive, but I've also used Loctite and Elmer's, and um, I don't have any specific brand that I use. I just grab whatever's cheapest and whatever's closest on the shelf. And then you're going to need some glitter. Today, I'm using a, uh, a rose gold color. It's Golden Rose by Glitter Heart Company. And you're going to need um, a stainless steel tumbler. Obviously, I am using a hog brand. It is a modern curve. I get all of my stainless steel tumblers. Um, these from the stainless steel depot.com. And you're going to want to spray paint your tumbler. So I spray painted my tumbler a paint color and it is the Krylon um, color. It's satin ballet slipper. I do recommend you spray paint your tumbler um, at least white. If I didn't have a paint color to match this glitter, I would have just spray painted it white. But if you do have a color that matches your um, glitter or resembles your glitter in some way, I do recommend spraying it the same color. Because if you do miss some spots on your tumbler, um, you'll see the white or you'll see the spray paint. So um, if I miss some spots or it's kind of iridescent, the, the pink will show up and it will match the, my, ro my uh, golden rose color. I always recommend spray painting your, your tumbler with satin, matte, or flat finish. Um, I do not recommend spray painting it gloss. The reason for that is because when you apply the epoxy, the gloss um, creates fish eyes in your tumbler. Also, if you do want to know how to prep a tumbler, I do have a video in my YouTube uh, channel. So if you go back and look for a video how to prep your tumbler, um, you'll see it there. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I have my Mod Podge uh, dumped out into a tray here. I did purchase my tray from Joann's. Um, if you don't have a tray, you can always just put it on paper. And now I'm going to apply the Mod Podge to the tumbler. Now, one thing about Mod Podge is it does dry fairly quickly. So you do want to work fast with this so you don't have spots of your tumbler uh, not dry or um, not glittered due to the Mod Podge drying. So what I always do is um, I'm going a little faster than normal just to make this video uh, speed up a little bit, but I apply half of my tumbler with glitter or I apply half of my tumbler with Mod Podge just so it doesn't dry. And then I take my glitter, which I poured in my Dixie cup. It just gives me more control over the glitter whenever I pour it in a Dixie cup. And then I just dump it on my tumbler. And you don't want this part to be perfect. You'll see how to get full coverage if you don't get full coverage uh, now. So if your Mod Podge does end up drying on you, it's okay. I'll show you how I get full coverage on my tumbler. And then you dump the excess glitter back into your Dixie cup or your glitter container. And then you just repeat this process. So make sure you cover all of the spots where you um, put your Mod Podge at. This is such a pretty color. And then I always tap off my tumbler. If you see glitter is coming off of it. And then you put your excess back in the, in the container and you just repeat this process. I'm just gonna add my Mod Podge and the spots where I did it Mod Podge. And now this is kind of hard. So if you do um, if you do want to, to cover your entire tumbler with the Mod Podge and go super, super fast and risk the Mod Podge drying, that is fine. I've done that before when, I, um, when I'm in a hurry. That's fine, but um, whenever you do the halfway, sorry if the light's washing out, but whenever you do apply your uh, Mod Podge halfway, make sure you're not clumping it on the second half because of this 
Mod Podge is thicker than this down here, you're gonna see that line. So I always take my Mod Podge brush or my sponge brush and I kind of drag it up with the glitter just to make it a flush, um, even surface. So it's not a clumpy line there in the middle and uh, where it's really noticeable. And if you see the, the thickness that I have on my tumbler, it's not too thick, only because if you do put a thick coat of epoxy, you're gonna see the streaks, sorry. If you put a thick coat of Mod Podge, you're gonna see the streaks um, on the cup. So make sure you are just fanning it out, kind of, and you're making it as even with the the Mod Podge you put on on the bottom of the cup and then kind of go over the glitter there and then we take the rest of the glitter and we add it to the tumbler and if you saw a little piece of my paint chipped it is okay it's going to cover it do keep in mind if you are working with iridescent glitter meaning glitter that uh that you can see through whatever color base you have on your tumbler that base is going to shine through so if you have a purple iridescent, purple clear, I know it's weird, but they have purple clear glitter that's iridescent that you can see through. If you put that on a blue cup, you're gonna be able to see your blue through your uh, purple glitter. It's not gonna be ugly, but if you aren't expecting it, it's it throws you off a little bit. Um, so I do like putting that on tumblers, like a black base with um, like green iridescent glitter. So it's fun to work with. But as long as you know um, that it's gonna do that, then it will be okay. Now see my Mod Podge dried right there. I think it did, my glitter didn't stick to it. Oh no, it did a little bit. And make sure um, whenever you get closer to the edges or the top of the tumbler where you put your lips, um, you just, I go a little closer. So this is a easy, easy way to apply glitter. Um, it is so simple to do these tumblers whenever a customer just wants one solid glitter tumbler. So now I'm just beating off the excess glitter and I'm gonna beat it on my desk. That just helps the glitter fall off. And look at that sparkle, guys. I love this color. And then I'm gonna put the excess glitter and back into the, to the cup. This is just the same process over and over again. And it looks like I did get a full coverage. Now on camera, you can hardly see some bare spots on this tumbler, but there are some bare spots that I'm unhappy with and I kind of see them. So in this instance, what I do, so if you see right here, you can really see that bare spot. So some people wait until this is dried. Mod Podge dries in about 45 minutes to an hour and then they will Mod Podge over. Well, I don't have patience for that. <laughs> so what I do is I take my spray adhesive and I spray this tumbler, just one coat, one solid coat of spray adhesive over the tumbler. So I'm gonna go do this outside and I'll be right back. I've sprayed my tumbler with my spray adhesive. As you can see, my tumbler is now uh, dull and, and it's not sparkle, which is fine. And I'm just gonna dump my glitter onto the tumbler, just repeating uh, the steps. And you can see it shines right back up whenever you add the glitter. I'm just gonna use the rest in this container. I make a big mountain of glitter and then I just put it all back inside the tumbler. Now everybody's probably wondering, why don't you just use spray adhesive? Glitter, spray adhesive, glitter, spray adhesive. Um, I use the Mod Podge because I feel the Mod Podge gives it a full thick coverage and then the spray adhesive kind of uh, fills in the blanks for me. And whenever you're doing tumblers, like um, I do have my watermelon tutorial, um, the spray adhesive cleans up your lines for you. So if you go and look at my watermelon tutorial, my watermelon tumbler tutorial on my YouTube channel, you'll see what I'm talking about. Whenever I add the spray adhesive, it cleans up um, any areas where it looks blotchy or not uh, as straight as what you want. And look at the full coverage on that tumbler. Look at the shine. And then what I do for the bottom, you can either add your Mod Podge to the bottom 
like so, or you can use your spray adhesive. The bottom I don't really worry about too much, but you never forget your bottom, but um, don't try to perfect it as much as um, as the, the, t uh, the tire tumbler. Um, I know a lot of people, they put their decals or their business logo um, on the tumbler, so just keep in mind that's gonna cover up some of the bottom. And then I put the Mod Podge on, and then what I do is I focus on the edges of the tumbler. I drop the glitter right there, and then that should fall um, on the bottom. So if you see it fell on the bottom and I focused on the very bottom of the tumbler. So I focused on that right here, at the edge of the tumbler, that's where I focused. And then it kind of fell. And then you just clean up the middle part. And if you want to, you can um, add spray adhesive again on the bottom. And then you can add spray adhesive on the bottom and then add more glitter. So what you're going to do next is, this is in a very, very important part. So you're gonna take your Krylon Crystal Clear Acrylic Coating, you're gonna take this outside and you're gonna spray your tumbler all around and I give it a good three coats of my acrylic um, spray. So I'm gonna take this outside and I'm gonna spray it three times. I'm gonna spray it all around, spray it again, spray it again, and I'll be back. My tumbler is now sprayed with my acrylic sealer. If you can tell on camera, the uh, acrylic sealer does dull down the shine of the glitter. Do not worry about this. It's going to shine right back up whenever I epoxy. So what I'm gonna do is I let this dry for at least 45 minutes. It lets the Mod Podge and the sealer really adhere to the glitter and um, then I'll apply the epoxy. So we will be back in about 45 minutes to an hour. My tumbler has been drying for about an hour now, and I do have it turning on my turner. I don't let my tumbler dry while it's turning. I do just keep it off, but I did turn it on just uh, before this video. I have my epoxy already mixed. So this is one ounce of epoxy mixed and ready to go. And then all I'm gonna do is, this is easy peasy um, for this tumbler. So since it's only one color, I'm just going to stick my finger in my tumbler or in my Dixie cup and just spread it out on the tumbler. And there's no rhyme or reason how to do this. I know some people are picky the way they apply their um, epoxy, but you can pour it, you can stick your finger in it, you can do however you want. Um, this is only going to be the first coat of epoxy. So it's just the first coat. So all I really want to do is cover it. I'm not worried about it being, um, I mean, you wanna make it as even as, as possible, but I'm not worried about um, being perfect. Even if you do miss some at the bottom, it is okay. I don't usually have leftover epoxy when doing the 30 ounce. I try to make this spread as much as I can. Um, I try to pull down the epoxy down on the tumbler. And if you notice, I use my Krylon acrylic sealer for this tumbler and this glitter isn't going anywhere. So I highly recommend using the Krylon acrylic sealer. It is amazing. And again, don't forget about the bottom and there's some, some drips. And if it does drip, just pick it right back up with your finger. Easy as that. And then I use every bit I can in the, in my Dixie cup here. I hope I'm getting all this on the camera for y'all. I did stand up so y'all can see this. And I'm just using my gloved hand and I'm just flowing down the tumbler back up. Down the tumbler, I do have some left over and then I just wipe it back on the tumbler. And I kind of focus on, you wanna focus on the, the lip of the tumbler because you don't wanna to apply too much pressure because you want a, a good uh, coat on here. So after this coat is completely dried, um, it's gonna take about six hours to dry. Once it is dry, what I would probably do is um, add a decal and then I would just do another coat of epoxy. You might not need a whole ounce of epoxy to do the next coat, 
or you might depending on how much epoxy you use on the first one um, so you just kind of eyeball it and and then I'm gonna hit this with my heat gun Using the heat gun, um, what it does is it pops any bubbles that's in the epoxy. And if you see, I'm going rather fast with my heat gun. If you keep your heat on one part of the epoxy, you're going to smell a burning smell. And that's your epoxy burning. Um, so I'm going to let this dry. Like I said, I'm going to let it dry for about six hours. If this tumbler is bumpy from glitter, what you'll do is you'll let this dry for six to eight hours. Once it is dried, what you'll do is you'll take your sanding block. This is a 220 grit sanding block or sanding paper, and you'll sand your tumbler. Do not be terrified after you sand your tumbler. It will look dull like this. If you can see, this tumbler does look kind of dull. It is because it is sanded. Once you're done sanding and you put your next coat of epoxy on it, it shines right back up. So the process again for this I'll let it dry. If it is bumpy, I will sand it. Once I sand it, I'll put my decal on there. After I place my decal, I'll put another coat of epoxy on it and it's finished. Now, it is up. It is your discretion on how many coats of epoxy. Sometimes I put two more coats of epoxy after my decal because some cups are more stubborn than others. So do remember that. So let me show you uh, the shine of the tumbler. Here is the tumbler spinning. And I think the Mod Podge method does give the tumbler a better coverage and it uses less glitter in my opinion. But if you do use the epoxy method, it is fine. Your tumblers turn out just as beautiful and I will be doing a video on how to do the epoxy method. So I am not 100% against the epoxy method, but I, I use the Mod Podge method a lot more.